just realized I forgot to um, uh, demonstrate some of the capability of the p-edit command or edit polyline command. All of these polylines are the same. I made one, copied the other. I used the arc option, the line option, and closed them. The p-edit command is on the drop-down section of the modify panel. Looks like a sideways J with a pencil. We're on the home tab. Drop down, click p-edit command or edit polyline icon. Select one of these closed polylines and up pops the list of all the options available on the p-edit or edit polyline command. I think we demonstrated width okay. You can make a specify a change of width. If it's zero width, then the polyline behaves the same as a regular line uh, concerning line weights. Edit vertex allows you to add um, vertices between segments. Keep clicking the next option and then there and then and then and, 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 and until you get to the section before where you want to insert a vertex. Click the insert or invoke the insert option uh, you know, a few times if you want. And you can add a vertex. And as I demonstrated earlier, it's just as easy to uh, explode and add zigzag lines end to end and then p-edit join them. Um, another option with, within the p-edit process is the spline method. Click on the spline and it snakeifies the line. Let me get out of the p-edit command. I'm getting enter to, to exit out of the p-edit command. These are the control points. Notice they're very similar to the original polyline we had. You can grab one and stretch this splined polyline. Now it's not a pure spline. There is a spline command. Um, it's mathematically more pure for the wing designers and propeller designers. This is an approximation good enough for map work and highways, maybe, maybe railroad or terrain lines. We need to start the p-edit command again to demonstrate yet another way of snakeifying. Hit escape so nothing selected. Drop down p-edit. We'll select the second one and use the fit option. This is a bit more radical method. I'll hit escape to get out. Now the arc or the curve literally goes through each of those control points. A little bit radical, but might be what you're looking for. Let's go p-edit, drop down or type p-e, enter. We've still got the polyline selected. We can decurve it to send it back to straight segments, losing the original arcs and all. Again, we can spline it, we can fit it, we can edit a vertex. Next, 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 next. Uh, insert or move or straighten segments. That's about it. Okay.